Well, this Christmas Eve, Congress is preparing for a late December showdown with President Trump. Today, an attempt to increase direct COVID stimulus payments failed in the House. CBS News' Skylar Henry on how millions of Americans will run out of unemployment benefits without it. Brian, Juliet, good evening to you. Well, lawmakers have made it clear that they plan to be back here next week for several reasons, one of which is to try to override the president's veto of a key defense bill. The other is to try to increase the amount of money in those stimulus checks for millions of Americans. But Republicans have given all indications that they do not want that to happen. A very Merry Christmas. The president and first lady addressed the COVID crisis in a tweeted Christmas message. We are delivering millions of doses of a safe and effective vaccine that will soon end this terrible pandemic. House Democrats effort to increase stimulus payments from $600 to $2,000 was blocked Thursday morning by Republicans. 600 is uh, certainly uh, not enough for individuals who have been struggling these past seven months. The move came days after President Trump put the fate of the COVID relief bill in jeopardy by demanding the higher payments after Congress had passed it. The package is attached to a larger spending bill, and without action from the president or Congress, the government could face a shutdown Monday at midnight. I hope the president uh, looks at this again and reaches a, that conclusion that the best thing to do is to sign the bill. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced lawmakers will return Monday to vote on a standalone bill to increase the stimulus payments. They'll also try to override the president's veto of an essential defense bill. Wednesday night, President Trump announced another round of controversial pardons. He pardoned two of his former 2016 campaign associates, Paul Manafort and Roger Stone. Both were prosecuted in connection to special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation of Russia's meddling in the 2016 presidential election. Manafort served around two years on tax and bank fraud charges, and Stone was convicted convicted of witness tampering and lying to Congress. Roger Stone was treated very unfairly, in my opinion. The president also pardoned Jared Kushner's father, Charles Kushner, who pleaded guilty to witness retaliation and tax charges in 2005. Republican Senator Ben Sass of Nebraska wrote in a statement, this is rotten to the core. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. President Trump played a round of golf earlier today while staying at his resort in Mar-a-Lago for the holidays. President-elect Joe Biden met with his transition advisors while spending his holiday in his home state of Delaware.